Feminist aesthetics refers not to a particular aesthetic or style, but to perspectives that question assumptions in art and aesthetics concerning gender. In particular feminists argue despite seeming neutral or inclusive, the way we think about art and aesthetics is influenced by gender. In the way that feminist history unsettles traditional history, feminist aesthetics challenges philosophies of beauty, the arts and sensory experience. Starting in the 18th century, ideas of aesthetic pleasure have tried to define taste. Kant and Hume both argued that there was universal good taste, which made aesthetic pleasure. A feminist line of logic about these attempts is that, because fine art was a leisure activity at this time, those who could afford to make art, or produce supposed universal truths about how it is enjoyed, would do so in a way that creates class and gender division. Even when those universal aesthetists did address gender, they categorized aesthetics into two categories, beauty and sublimity, with beauty being small and delicate, and sublimity being large and or inspiring. Another explanation for the male domination of forming aesthetic theory is that feminists express their aesthetic pleasure differently than non-feminist aesthetes for whom the pleasure of theorizing is a form of jouissance. Instead a feminist is less likely to view the object as a disinterested interpreter and intellectualize the sensation. The idea of the creative genius is inspected in feminist aesthetics. In particular, women artists are often excluded from being creative or artistic geniuses. In addition, the idea of the creative genius itself celebrates individualism, which Christine Battisby calls a kind of masculine heroism, and overlooks the work of joint collaborations. Aesthetic theories that make a distinction between arts and crafts can be viewed as anti-feminist. Here art usually refers to fine art and crafts to everything else which has everyday aesthetics. Since those craft practices occur in the home where many women continue to work, their creativity is marginalized because their domain is marginalized.